Hey guys, so this is going to be my like year roundup of favorites. Um, how I did it, I didn't pick something from every single category there is. Um, I just picked products that like stood out to me, things that I was really impressed with this year, things that I couldn't live without, just kind of stuff like that. Just products that really stuck in my mind here at the end of the year that I wanted to talk about some more if I haven't talked about them enough. So I'm going to start with makeup and then go on to the rest of the beauty stuff and then I have a couple of just like lifestyle-y things that I will throw in at the very end. But starting with makeup, I have a pile here in front of me. I don't think I'm really going to go in a particular order. Um, so I discovered Scandinavia sprays this year. They were sent to me from Octoly. Um, I received the makeup primer spray and the makeup finishing spray. I love both of these. They're both made for oily skin. I have oily skin. I'm really impressed with the primer spray. Really impressed with the setting spray. I have another setting spray I am working through, the Urban Decay All Nighter, which I still like. I just like this one better. Um, and then the priming spray, I'm going to wait. Um, this worked really well for me once it started to get warm, like spring, summer, I think. Um, so I'm going to save this in my collection. It's probably halfway done, though, if not for, you know, further down. But yeah, the Scandinavia sprays are really awesome, and I'm really glad I got the chance to try them out and find out, you know, that I love them. The other primer that really kind of stood out to me, I've used this all year round, is the Mirad Invisibler Perfecting Shield. Now I think this works best for me in cooler temperatures, so like fall and winter, this is going to work the best for me. Um, but it's really nice, it has SPF 30 with the silicone feeling um, primer, which I think is an awesome combo, so this has been cool. Okay, I've been using a lot of cream blush this year, and my favorite formula of cream blush are from Becca, and these are called the Beach Tints. I have four of them, um, and they come in different colors, but they're in a squeezy tube, so you just squeeze a little bit out onto your finger. I put it between my two fingers and then just pat it in. I've really been loving it. Sometimes I don't even add powder blush on. A lot of times I do, but sometimes I don't, and I just really like them, and they're my favorite formula of cream blush. If you're looking for any, go check these out. They are a little bit pricey, but I feel like if you, I mean, I've had these for years you guys and they're still good because they're not open and exposed to like the air you know so yeah I use these a lot this year and I'm still loving them um lip balm I really love the bite agave lip mask um this is a great thicker option um I usually use this at night every night but um now that it's colder I've been using it during the day too just to keep my lips from getting chapped so this is a really nice option it's lasted me for a really long time um all my rub or all the writing and stuff is worn off but as soon as I'm done with this I'm definitely going to purchase another one I think it definitely is worth the price and I like that it's in a squeezy tube I have a couple of eye products here um, I have an eyeliner. I discovered this about halfway through the year. It's from Makeup Geek, and it is the Full Spectrum Eyeliner, and this is in the shade Nude. Now, I use a nude eyeliner in my waterline every single day that I wear makeup, and this one is so nice. It's the perfect nude color, in my opinion. It's not too white. It's not too, like, kind of orangey or yellowy. It's very brightening and it stays. I do one layer and then at the end, right before I'm done with my makeup, I add a quick second layer and it lasts pretty much all day. This is the Essence 2-in-1 Shadow and Liner. I've been raving about this. I really like it. It's a crayon um, stick that rolls up. I have the shade um, 03, which is called Light Me Up. And um, I really like it. I just kind of draw it on my lid. I tap it in and then I put any shadow over it and it just kind of foils it. Makes it look a lot brighter. Makes it stick. So yeah, I really love this. Um, and I think this is going to last me a long time. So I'm happy about that. I discovered a favorite mascara this year. The Essence Lash Princess. I really love the Essence brand just in general. But um, these mascaras are a total hit. I also really like their waterproof mascaras which I have used throughout the year. Um, I bought the duo pack and I did buy a second one to replenish when these ones are dried up. Um, I really like both of them, but I've been using the green one a little bit more lately. But again, I do like them both. The green one's almost done and then I'm going to finish up the orange one and then I'll move on to my second pack. But these are awesome. They're super cheap. You should definitely check them out. A couple of concealers that I've been loving and using pretty much year round. First is the Pixi Under Eye Brightening Corrector. It's a peach corrector for dark circles underneath your eyes. It's really nice. I just use a tiny bit. Um, it's very easy to blend without being so creamy that it's going to crease. 
Um, and it offers like a nice brightening effect. I put it on and then I do my foundation so like some of it goes over it. Um, and then the second concealer I use underneath my eyes is the NYX HD concealer. And I use the shade Fair. I just do like two to three dots underneath my eyes, just kind of brighten them up. I don't do the whole like crazy triangle thing. It's not me. Um, this is awesome. It layers well over this guy and it just really brightens up. Okay, my setting powder that I absolutely love. You guys know this. This is my holy grail if you want to call it that. But my Tarte setting powder is my favorite. It's loose. It's translucent. It really mattifies. That's what I like. That's what I need. I love this stuff. Um, it's something that like I need in my life <laughs> at all times. Um, I've been really loving the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is in the shade Moonstone. Um, I used it at the beginning of the year and then throughout the summer I didn't really use it because I'm oily enough and sweaty enough. I don't need any extra glow. But now that it's um, you know cold again, I really do like mixing this into my foundation. I have the shade Moonstone. I just got the smaller size because I knew I wouldn't be able to go through a big size by the time it expires. So I've had this for a year and I still have plenty left. So that makes me really happy that I went for the smaller size earlier in the year when I bought it. But I really, really like it. Also, I love this eyeshadow primer. This is from Wet n Wild. It is the Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. It is awesome. If you've never tried it, I highly would recommend it. It's just a couple dollars at your drugstore. It works just as well as the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, as Urban Decay Primer Potion, as NARS Smudge Proof for me. I don't have especially oily eyelids. If you do, this might not work. I can't attest to that. But if you have like regular eyelids, I feel like this would work just fine it's so much cheaper and you know eye primers last you literally forever so I mean this one tube usually lasts me about 10 months so I mean for like less than five dollars that's a pretty good deal okay I discovered a awesome lip balm this um, summer it's the kiss my face sport treatment SPF 30 lip balm so I was looking for a lip balm with um, you know sunscreen in it this is minty um, it's very soft to the point where if you like really push and slide this across your lips you're gonna have like a whole layer so I just kind of dab like this um, and it comes off it's super nourishing lasts long on the lips it just is really nice now that it's winter I'm loving it again too it's just an all around all around great lip balm and I highly would recommend you trying it out I got mine from Vitacost a couple more makeup products here the Kevin Aquan sculpting powder so this is a little kit I received for Christmas last year um, I have been using this sculpting powder exclusively as my contour all year long. have not hit pan, but it's a great contour for fair skin. Um, I also really love these two eyeshadows and the highlighter powder in here. Um, but I would highly recommend you try out the um, sculpting powder. I think it's a great, great powder. It's definitely more like a gray-brown, which is what I wanted because everything else just looked too muddy on me and I wasn't happy with it. Okay, one last makeup product, and this has been a favorite for a while, um, but I just want to mention again, this is from Jordana. It's the Easy Liner for Lips Lip Liner. It's a retractable one, and this is in the shade Tawny, which in my opinion is the best color. It's like my perfect nude shade. It's right there. Ignore these other swatches. Right there. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm trying to finish it up because I have had this in my collection for a while, but as soon as it's gone, I'm going to get another one. I love this it lives in my purse a lot of the time because it's the perfect it just goes with everything so i i really like that i do have a couple of makeup tools i want to give a shout out to so i have three brushes um and then obviously i really like the beauty blender um i did kind of get away from the beauty blender for a while but i found with my more mattifying mattifying foundations this is the best way to apply them because it does sheer them out and doesn't make them look cakey. It's just a great tool. I really do love it. Mine does have like rips and stuff, but it works just fine for me. Um, sorry, it's kind of dirty and has powder on it. I also do like applying powder with my Beauty Blender when it's stamp. Um, so yeah, I, I like it. I'm a fan. Okay, when I'm not using a Beauty Blender, I'm using the Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki to apply foundation. This is a cult classic. It's nothing new here on YouTube. I just really, really love it, and I want to talk about it. Um, it really does blend your foundation well. It's pretty big, so it will cover a large amount of area. Sorry, it's sturdy. I used it today. Um, but it's just so nice, and I really do love that. Um, two more brushes. These are both from Real Techniques. So this one is the Duo Fiber. I bought it in the Duo Fiber set, and it's the Duo Fiber Contour Brush, which is perfect. So when you have a Duo Fiber brush, 
it makes sure that you don't pick up too much product and that's what I need because I am fair so I just go ahead sculpt it you know like put it in where I want it and then I can easily blend it out because the bristles are pretty loose on this you know they're very fluffy they're not dense so it's easy for me to blend it out but it's small enough and kind of flat enough this way you know what I mean that I can get a sharp line and then just kind of blend it out which I think is awesome okay and then this is the real techniques this is the blush brush I like this for bronzer because it's so um, just wispy and light and um, just kind of you know goes with the flow um, and I can just quick pack on bronzer and the perimeter of my face blends it out immediately um, and nothing ever looks streaky and it's very very soft so these were my highlighted um, brushes of the year I just wanted to talk about there quick okay I have some other products now so uh, I think I'm gonna start with skincare so if you know anything about me and if or if you follow my project use it up you guys know that I mask a lot and I absolutely love it so I want to give a shout out to some of my favorite masks um, before I do a mask though I use a face scrub and this one has been like longtime favorite this is the Andalou Naturals lemon sugar facial scrub it's for clarifying or it's in the clarifying line anyway it's a sugar scrub it's very rough so you don't need much um, I also wet my face so that it helps like you know glide along but this really is great for getting off dead skin um, working out blackheads all that good stuff so I always use a scrub before I do a mask just that way all the rough dead skin that was on top of my you know face is gone so that the mask can actually like do its work instead of just being on like gross skin anyway so yeah I really really love this highly would recommend um, I want to give a shout out to two masks um, the first one is a also longtime favorite I've been using this for a couple years now it's the Andalou Naturals pumpkin honey glycolic mask this is awesome so it's definitely more um, like it's kind of like a gel and it doesn't I mean it does dry but it doesn't like dry down like a clay mask does where it feels super tight um, but it's really nice it goes into your pores it like dissolves what's in there um, I've noticed that like if I take a big break from this and I go back it's more tingly and then each time it's less tingly so um, I feel like I don't know I just really like it and I really do see results with my skin it just brightens it up, makes it look more even, less discoloration. So I really, really do like that one. I get it from Vitacost. And then the other scrub, which is a little bit dirty here, this is from The Body Shop, from their new um, uh, face masks. I was sent a package from The Body Shop. I think it had five of the face masks in it, and this is one of them, and this is like a big standout to me. I haven't really used too many. I've used them, but like not extensively or anything. But this one I've been using a lot. This is the Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask. So this is one that's going to dry down. It's kind of like Glam Glow-ish um, where you can see, you know, all your pores and all of that. So it's just a dark charcoal mask. I really do like it though. It's awesome. It dries pretty quick. I do see good results with it. So yeah, I'm really, really happy I got to try this out and I'm really glad I'm loving it. And I really like the packaging of these. Just they look so nice on your counter. I do have a lip product here. This is from Lush. This is the Mint Juleps um, lip scrub. I really like the Lush lip scrubs. I've used them before. Um, I like to use it maybe like once or twice a week on my lips when it, you know it's winter and my lips get more chapped or if I'm like sick or something and I'm mouth breathing then I'll use it more but this is really awesome it feels nice they do have different flavors if you don't like the mintiness um, but yeah I really do like this okay I'm gonna go with perfumes next I have two I want to shout out um, this one has been a long time favorite of mine it is the Dolce Gabbana the one I love this. I've gone through a like one ounce size or one and a half ounce size. This is the bigger one. It's like the three ounce one. I love this. It's such a nice scent. Um, it's kind of like a warm vanilla. I'll put the notes on the screen here, but I really, really like it. Um, I never get sick of this one. And the other one I have at school, and I have a full size. I just don't have it, so this is the rollerball of it. But it's the Hene Mori butterfly oh my goodness it is so good so kind of do the same thing at school with that one um, it's on my dresser right before I leave if I'm running out the door or something or if I'm going to class quick or whatever I just spritz it on quick and I'm out the door but I really love it these are my two go-to's um, so I want to talk about those because they definitely are favorites for me I have a couple of nail polish items so my favorite nail polish remover I've said this so many times is the Zoya remove plus it's just the best I know it's a little bit more pricey. Anytime you use a glitter nail polish, it comes right off. 
it's so nice. I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to keep repurchasing it. And then as far as base coat and top coat, I really love the Glisten and Glow base coat and top coat. So the base coat, base coat is called the Stuck on Blue. I really like it. It's awesome. Um, it kind of is a little bit of a tacky texture. And then the top coat is the HK Girl top coat. This is so nice. Um, I remember hearing about this like years ago from Young Wild and Polished and decided to try it and I've been hooked. Um, it seriously drives so fast. Um, it gives you a nice glossy finish. Really, really love them. I buy a new one, a new bottle of each every year. So love it. My favorite deodorant of the year has been the Old Spice. I do use antiperspirant. I have hyperhidrosis, which means like I sweat when I don't need to. I use antiperspirant. It does help. It doesn't reduce it all the way, but it helps. Um, and I know people have their own opinions, but whatever. This um, this is the Old Spice. I have different scents of this. Um, this one is Citron. Um, there's a few different scents I like. So I usually I have one all over the place. I have one in my car, one in my purse, one at each place I live. I have them all over the place. So they're all different scents too. So it keeps it a little bit different. But I really do like this. Um, it's cheap and it works and it's fine by me. And it's really big. Like this is going to last me a long time. Oh, I forgot to mention kind of with makeup stuff. My um, I don't use makeup wipes very often. But I did discover these this year and I do like them. It's the Alba Botanica Hawaiian 3-in-1 Towelettes, the pineapple enzyme ones. They're really nice. Um, I like to have a like pack of these around. Um, especially like it's been the holiday season so I've been traveling and this is just so easy to have a pack of this and just wipe down my face. Otherwise I keep them next to my bed if I ever have a really night, late, late night of studying or if I went out or something when I come home. At least I can get my makeup off and that's that's really important. So yeah, I, I really do like those ones. I have some hair products here. I'm going to start with the shampoo and conditioner. These are my favorite shampoo and conditioner. They're from Desert Essence. Um, I discovered these through Vitacost. And this is the Island Mango Enriching line. And I love the shampoo and conditioner from both. Um, the shampoo is a, it's not like very liquidy when it goes in your hair. It's kind of a little bit more like a gel um, or like a cream gel, I guess. But once you get, you know, it mixed with water in your hair, it does lather nicely. Um, and then the conditioner is super awesome. Um, they are 100% vegan, wheat and gluten free, no parabens, no sulfates, no phthalates, no artificial fragrances or colors, silicones, EDTA, glycol, or petroleum based ingredients. They are cruelty free and biodegradable. So these are just all around awesome. They're super softening in my hair. They don't like leave it feeling too squeaky clean or anything like that. They're really, really nice. I really, I really love them. They're like, I want to say they're like four or five dollars a piece, which is pretty good. Okay, the other hair product I want to talk about is also from Desert Essence, and this is the Coconut Soft Curls Hair Cream. So if you guys know, I have naturally curly hair. I do wear it down like in curls, um, like my natural curls sometimes, and this is the product that I use. I did do a curly hair routine video. Um, I will try to remember it link to, to link it down below for you. But anyway, um, this is an awesome product. I just, I mean, less is more with it. But it's really nice. Um, all the same things I just listed off it doesn't have. It's um, vegan and I don't know. It's just really, really nice and it makes my feel my hair feel soft without being crunchy, but it holds a curl. So I really like this. I'm about halfway. I have a second bottle at school too. I'm about halfway on that one too. So I have two body products and then my kind of lifestyle things and then I'm done because I know this is a long video. Um, my favorite Body wash of the year has been the Method Moisturizing Body Wash. This is a different scent. I usually went with the, hold on, I have it right here, Magnolia. This is empty. Um, but this is the Coconut Milk. However, I recently heard that Method is testing on animals again, and that is not okay. So this will be my last bottle. But if you are not cruelty-free, which is totally fine if you're not, definitely check this out. It's cheap. It's super moisturizing. Like, I am really, really bummed out that they decided to start testing on animals again. Um, Method was one of my favorite brands like of the past couple of years So I'm gonna enjoy this while I have it Okay, and then one more body product and this is the deep steep argan oil body lotion now This is the coconut and lime scent. However, my favorite scent from them is the fig scent. It's in a purple Tube, but this is really nice. It's super hydrating, but because it has argan oil in it. It dries quickly That's what I'm trying to say um, which is such a nice um, like feature to have in a body lotion where it's very moisturizing, it's very rich, 
but it doesn't feel greasy and it sinks in pretty quick. So I really, really love these. I'm going to be buying more. I found a bunch at TJ Maxx and this is my last one. So I need to restock soon. I have two lifestyle things I'd like to talk about. So the first one is still kind of like bath related. It is this towel like wrap. I got it from Target. Um, they are so nice. So it's um, like elastic on the back here. And then the front has Velcro. So you just kind of wrap it around you and it stays up. This is super nice for getting ready if you're blow drying your hair when you, you know, you still get hot. Um, if you're traveling or on vacation or anything like that, like it just stays on, which is so nice if you're living in a dorm or a sorority. Everyone needs one. That's all I'm saying. Um, yeah, I really, really like it. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to mention for like my yearly favorites is a book. And this um, was a inspiration kind of book from Marissa Lake. So this is called Find Your Happy and they're a daily mantra. So it's kind of like a devotional, um, but it's not like religious affiliated, you know? Um, so anyway, there's just all these pages and there's a page for every day. I did start it, but I think I'm going to start over at the beginning of the year. So basically, this is what a page looks like. Can you even see that? There's like the day number, kind of like a title. There's a little paragraph about just um, just kind of putting things in perspective and, you know, just advice and stuff like that. Um, there is a second part of something that is nice to say. I like to say it out loud. Um, it's kind of like a positive affirmation kind of a thing. Um, or you could just read it to yourself. And then at the bottom there's a question that relates to the page. So um, like this question is what barrier and fear can I ask the universe to help me remove? Um, so like what are you you know scared of or whatever that you wanna work on? Like there's just a question for every day that's relating to the topic of the day. So like a lot of the themes I noticed were just you know kind of letting go of other people's opinions um, and their problems that they put on you and just kind of going with what your gut says, just things like that. So. I really have liked it so far. What I do is I read it in the morning. I take five minutes um, and then I do have a journal and I just write down my response to the question. I try to fill one page of their journal just so I have a little bit of like reflection time for myself in the morning. I think it's really nice. I highly would recommend it. I got off of Amazon. Um, you can buy it from like Barnes and Noble, but they don't carry it in store. You do have to get it online. At least from what I could tell, because I looked and looked and looked in all the stores because I wanted it like, you know, now. But um, I had to wait for prime shipping, you know, two days. Woo. But anyway, that's the last thing. I hope you guys enjoyed um, my videos this year. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of like this wrap up. Um, I really do like these videos. I like to watch them and kind of make a list of products I'd like to look into more or maybe try. And I think they're really helpful. Um, and yeah, I know this is really long, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a lot to talk about. Um, but yeah, that's all I have. I hope you guys are enjoying your end of the year. Um, and I hope you had a really, you know, good holiday season and all of that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.